Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering Bootstrap website templates. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the question that you may be asking is what exactly is Bootstrap? So Bootstrap is a free and open source web dev uh, framework. It's designed to ease the web dev process. Bootstrap helps web developers build a uh, website faster as they don't need to worry about configuring other parts such as basic commands, functions, and so on. It also consists of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, based, or any other sort of based um, coding languages uh, for various, various web design related functions and components. So the next question is why exactly use Bootstrap? So uh, some uh, of Bootstrap's interface components include navigation bars, they've got grid systems, image carousels and buttons. So that's one of the reasons as well to use Bootstrap. It, it just makes the whole process a lot easier, uh, just dim diminishes the idea of using wireframes and then having to sketch up a website as well. So just say if you're not really a good designer and you don't have a design team, um, the one way you could do it is by just searching up some bootstrap templates and just working with that. And then you would have to go through the design process step by step. Or, you know, just completely, as I said, it just gets rid of that uh, first couple of steps. It just gives you a head start um, as to not using wireframes and sketch. So basically just to demonstrate as well what a wireframe uh, exactly is. This is just a simple diagram. So this is what a design process would be. So you'd have to sketch it, then you would have to go through a wireframe process, then prototype it, and that'll be your design. But what's great about the bootstrap templates is it completely eliminates all of that process. So your sketch, your wireframe, and your prototype completely gone, and all that you're left with is the actual design. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll take a couple of, well, we'll take a look at a, a couple of designs that are online. And uh, yes, we'll just go ahead and go through them. So before we actually move on to having a look at some of the bootstrap templates, it's actually key to know what some of these uh, are for. So, or why you should use the bootstrap. So I have mentioned before the ease of use responsive grid, browser compatibility, and bootstrap image system. But exactly what is the ease of use? So basically, bootstrap is it's really easy to learn. And due to its popularity, uh, popularity as well, there's plenty of tutorials out there. You've got online forms as well, just to help you get started. It's very, very popular amongst the web developers as well, and the web designers. Uh, just mainly because of the simple file structure it has. The files are compiled for easy access and it only requires very, very basic HTML, CSS and JS knowledge to modify them. And what's great is that you can also use the themes for popular content management systems as learning tools. So that's something to note. Uh, an example of that is most WordPress themes like are developed by using Bootstrap anyway. So any beginner web developer can access it. And then now I've also said about the responsive grid. Uh, what's great is that Bootstrap comes with a predefined grid system. So that saves you pretty much from creating one off by scr like scratch. Uh, the grid system pretty much consists of rows and columns. Uh, let's you make a grid inside the existing one um, of entering media queries within the CSS file. So that's pretty much what that is. Um, the grid system just makes the data entry process a lot more straightforward, which is very good for web developers as well, uh, since it contains a lot of like media queries. And pretty much you can go ahead and customize the breakpoints as well, based on, of course, the web development and the project needs. And of course, I've got there as well, browser compatibility. Now with that, uh, it just makes your website a little bit more accessible. So just by using the different browsers out there, uh, it's just basically to help reduce like the bounce rate as well. And it's just to get your website ranking higher in search results. So, uh, so what's great is Bootstrap, uh, Bootstrap actually 
uh, fills that requirement by being compatible with the latest versions of the popular browsers used. So you have like um, Google, you've got Bing, and you've got even all other uh, browsers available as well uh, to use from, for which is the Chrome or Google, and then you've got Firefox as well. Uh, it is uh, supporting lesser known browsers as well. So if you guys are familiar with like Gecko as well, it doesn't really uh, function correctly on them. So that's one of the issues. But as well as that, if there's not much people using those uh, web browsers, then it's not going to be an issue. As well as that, we've got Bootstrap Image System. Uh, so that basically means that it handles the image display and responsiveness with its predefined HTML and CSS rules. So that's just uh, what that is. So like by adding IMG, like that, if you were to do like dot IMG responsive class, that basically will automatically resize all your images uh, based on the user screen. So that could be like a phone, you could have like a tablet or it could be a desktop. And it pretty much this just benefits the website's performance as well as user experience. Um, obviously, by reducing the image sizes, it plays a big process of the optimization process. Uh, you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that you don't take up too much storage. Of course, the more storage that you take up, the lesser the website's responsive and the load up times are going to be longer. You want to make sure that you attract a visitor or anyone instantly. Uh, without having the, you know, uh, it ruining your load up times. Also, as well as this, uh, Bootstrap also provides additional classes like .img circle or like that .img rounded, uh, just basically to help you modify the image's shapes. So there are uh, bits of code that you can use within the CSS to make the image compatible with your website. So that's pretty much uh, your preferred preferred option. Anyway, now that we've actually fully covered these four points, I'm going to want to focus our attention now towards the actual templates that are available online and what exactly is free and what isn't. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check them out. Okay, so here we are on one of the websites that we found. So this is uh, called Bootstrap Made. Now you can go ahead and browse some templates here. So there's free bootstrap templates that you can see. As you can see, clean, elegant, beautiful, apparently. So HTML, CSS, and JavaScript framework. And there's even some of the ones that they're uh, showcasing as well. So they've got one there called Arsha, free corporate bootstrap HTML template. There's one there for the nice admin, iPortfolio, resume one, a GP version of one, impact. And depending how technical you are with your HTML and CSS skills, as well as your JavaScript skills, uh, you can easily format this. And as I said, within the previous points there is that they're pretty much as basic as it gets. All you would need to do is just change up your imaging or documentation uh, file or the files within the, that uh, coding documentation and just change it up the HTML, uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to suit your needs for the website. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and browse some templates. So here are some of the ones that they have. They've got Bizland, Media Lab, Restaurantly. Of course, these are all different names. Uh, you can view a demo of it as well, which shows you a desktop version, a tablet version, and a mobile version, which is cool. And even shows you some of the clickable points. So this is another point I made as well about all the buttons, all the simple functionalities of a website or what builds a website. It's all there for you. You've got your animation, you've got your buttons, um, pretty much just a, a, everything that you would take time to link up to. It's all here for you which is a really, really good part to this website. Now, of course, there are others. So if we go back, uh, they do have other ones available as well. And then moving on to our next one. Uh, this is called Nice Page. And as uh, with this one, so just like the Bootstrap Made one, uh, actually just going back to the Bootstrap Made one before I move on. 
Uh, there is other categories as well, depending on what your website is based on. Uh, there's business, landing page, boot, personal, bootstrap 5, construction, transportation, bootstrap 4, all the way down to medical. So that, that's what pretty much uh, this is all about. You can also download it for free. So that's another good thing about this. These are free downloads. So you don't have to worry about paying for any of the templates. So that pretty much is what Bootstrap Mate is. We'll go ahead and move on to the nice page. So here was the other one that I wanted to showcase, which is Nice Space. And this is a WordPress, uh, web, well, they support website, uh, WordPress website builder. Of course, they've got their features as well, which they like to show you as well for no coding. And these are some of the features that they have. So Slater elements, you've got contact form elements. So depending if you're building a WordPress uh, website, these would all be available for you. And there's one there for a carousel element, video element, language element. So these are all there for you. And of course, if you don't want to just go for the features, there are some of the bootstrap templates there. And it even gives you a full wide page of it. So there are some of the HTML uh, template categories, HTML block uh, designs, uh, website HTML templates. And of course, if you wanted to go premium, you can. And we could view some of the website designs that they have as well. So that's just pretty much what that is. Of course, if I click, click onto the food and restaurant one, uh, just say I wanted a particular page, then I could go ahead and grab some of the particular pages. So all the design is already built for you and you don't even have to worry about it. Uh, so that, now that we've covered that, I am going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Here we have Webflow. So this is the Webflow uh, bootstrap templates that you could find. So these are some of the HTML ones that they got. Uh, of course, I've got their products there for SEO and stuff as, as well. And just going through, there there are some of the different designs. Now you can go ahead and click onto them and use them for free. You can pre preview that within a brand new browser and just see how it functions. So their, their categories, they've got about, contact. And you can change this up depending on what the scripts are like. So that's just a quick overview of what that one looks like. And if you wanted to you can go ahead and check out some of the other ones that they have there are some paid for ones here which we'll have a look so we'll go to webflow and as you can see you can go ahead and get um, building with one of the templates that they have. So that's pretty much what Webflow is. So I, I would highly recommend to check Webflow out. And anyway, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. So here's the color lib. So this is another one that they have as well. Some of these are pre, uh, premium or some of these are free. So they've got their own themes as well for the bootstrap templates that they have. So these are all running HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And there are some of their premium themes as well. So that's pretty much just what the quick overview is on it. Now, if you were to look for some of the themes, you could just go ahead and click on one and then just download it or preview it. So that's what it looks like. And of course, if you download it, just click from, from here and then you'll get a zip file of that actual um, template that you've decided to take. Uh, but yes, that, that's just a quick overview of that one. Of course, they also have demos as well. So here's one here, Shapely demo. This is what this one looks like. And it's functional, as you can see. And all of the actual, um, all of the actual parts are clickable as well, which pushes you through to the different links. But yeah, pretty much I could keep going on and showing you the different websites that offer the bootstrap templates. Um, and for HTML and CSS, of course. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, if you have any questions at all regarding the video, or if you're stuck on anything, anything, please do let us know in the comment section below. 
But other than that, I'll see you for the next video. Thank you very much.